ask you this question. Do you believe in miracles? If you don't, Travis Hearn's story just might change your mind. He's a popular pastor here in the Valley and the Phoenix Suns chaplain. Just two months ago, he suffered a major medical episode that doctors believed he would not survive or recover from. You know, so behind the scenes, just trying to constantly, you know, inject some encouragement, some hope. And Travis Hearn is a busy guy. He's been the Phoenix Suns chaplain for more than 20 years. He's also the head pastor at Impact Church in Scottsdale. Last year, one of the big projects at Impact. Working with the worship team to write and record music. In November, they released their first song. It's called, He is the Miracle. You are the miracle I've been waiting for. The song, He is a Miracle, went to number one on the iTunes music charts. Within one or two days? Within probably 30 hours, yeah. And that same Sunday, Pastor Travis, or PT as so many call him, preached a message to go along with the music. I don't know about you, but I believe in miracles. And I don't just believe in the miracles in the Bible. I believe that God does modern day miracles. He, he still does miracles today because I've witnessed the countless miracles of God. Prophetic? Maybe. Just 24 hours later, the 47-year-old preacher had a massive stroke. I went from dropping grapes to I could not think, talk, nothing. Well, I suffered a brain aneurysm uh, that led to a hemorrhagic stroke in the basal ganglia area of my brain, which is the brainstem. And the doctor came to Natalie and told her where it was and how uh, dire the situation was. And he warned her, uh, just want you to know that basal ganglia strokes, uh, that their, their effects are irreversible. But PT says he and his wife refused to accept that diagnosis. My wife and I, we believe that God reverses the irreversible. And when Natalie heard that, um, uh, she, uh, she, she's a woman of faith and a woman of prayer. Okay, run backwards. So they got to work. Therapy and prayer given equal weight in PT's road back to health. And the encouragement from so many helped as well. Coach Monty calls me after a game and, uh, and he's like, PT, and he's got all the sons around him. And he's like, man, we want you to know that, man, we're with you. Now, just nine weeks later, Pastor Travis will be back in the pulpit this weekend at Impact Church, preaching his first message since the stroke. One doctor told me two weeks after the stroke, cardiologist, he said, listen, you should count your blessings. He said, where your stroke occurred, you should be dead or a vegetable. I feel like every time in my own life, when I make these massive strides to do something good for God, for the community, for people, there's always opposition. And a lot of times you get hit with an attack after a great success. But PT says he knew he had a powerful force on his side all along. Thank you for being the miracle of my life. Thank you for grace and mercy, unconditional love, second chances, new life. Thank you. That prayer you just watched right there, that's from that sermon that Pastor Travis preached in November, literally 24 hours before the stroke. And now this Sunday, as we said, he will be preaching at Impact Church just eight weeks later. And the worship team is releasing their second song today. So how's that for timing? So we should mention that Travis uh, continues to have some numbness on the right side of his body. So the therapy continues. But he says that he's always been so healthy, never even had a cavity. So not sure where all of this came from. But if you ask Pastor Travis, guys, he knows exactly where the miracle came from.